Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll be talking to you all about an original research article that was recently published in the Journal of Diabetes. Diabetes and Tuberculosis Endemic in India, a narrative review of facts, gaps in care and challenges. Both type 2 diabetes and tuberculosis are prevalent in India. Pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes mellitus are increasing in urban and rural India at a similar pace due to rapid changes in lifestyle and physical inactivity. Some data suggests that the coexistence of diabetes mellitus and tuberculosis substantially increases the failure of treatment of anti tuberculosis losses drugs. The COVID-19 pandemic has severely affected the healthcare delivery of tuberculosis diabetes mellitus patients. The tuberculosis diabetes mellitus syndemic as we call it needs a more aggressive focus for a better outcome. So to discuss this study further, we have with us today the lead author of the article, Dr. Professor Raju Vaishya, who is a renowned orthopedics and joint replacement surgeon with an experience of more than 35 years. He is currently a senior consultant at Indraprastha Polo Hospital, New Delhi. His interest lies in knee and hip surgery, total joint replacement and arthroscopic surgery, regenerative therapy in orthopedics, arthroscopic shoulder surgery, arthritis and osteoporosis, and research and publications. We welcome you to Medical Dialogue, sir. Thank you. Sir, we went through your paper on diabetes and tuberculosis syndemic in India and would like to know what were the aims and objectives of this study? I wanted to review the published literature on tuberculosis and diabetes in India, which are very common in our country, uh, and especially to see and understand the burden of these uh, two diseases that are causing dual epidemic or we have termed it as syndemic means synergistic epidemic of two or more diseases. We also aim to find out the gap, constraint, challenges in the care and treatment of these two important and commonly prevalent diseases in India. Thank you, doctor, for providing clarity on the aims and objectives of your study. So, what are the main reasons for the coexistence of diabetes and tuberculosis in the Indian population? We believe that there is a bi-directional relationship between tuberculosis and diabetes. People who have diabetes are more likely to have tuberculosis and vice versa. In fact, 15% of the adult tuberculosis patients were found to have uh, diabetes attributed uh, tuberculosis attributable to diabetes mellitus. As you know, diabetes causes increased blood sugar, that is hyperglycemia, and all infections may get aggravated uh, in presence of high blood sugar. And uh, same is true also. If you have infection in the body like tuberculosis, uh, then chances of increased blood sugar are high and that may be the reason for this bi-directional relationship. Moreover, uh, there are studies to suggest that in diabetes patients, tuber uh, mycoplasma tuberculosis that causes TB infection, uh, there is mutation. Uh, there can be a mu mutation in the in their strains, leading to multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, which is difficult to treat and eradicate. And hence, combination of diabetes and tuberculosis can be very severe. It can cause increased uh, incidence of complication, increased treatment failure, and also in some cases, increased mortality. I'm sure understanding these reasons is crucial for developing comprehensive strategies to address this dual burden. Now, building upon this understanding, I would like to know about the pharmacological treatment options for TB and diabetes mellitus in patients with TB diabetes mellitus comorbidity. Basically, uh, if someone has TB and, uh, TB and diabetes together, both need to be treated more aggressively with conventional treatment, uh, which is used for the treatment of tuberculosis like anti-tubercular drugs and treatment uh, used for uh, diabetes in adults like uh, insulin or oral hypoglycemic agent. But uh, their quantity 
uh, may be more uh, required in these patients. Secondly, there may be some treatment failure, uh, especially in cases of antitubercular treatment, and that has to be monitored. And people with tuberculosis in diabetic patients may have also have multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, and hence a second line or third line drugs for the treatment of tuberculosis may be required. So overall, more aggressive treatment is required and metformin has been found to be a quite useful drug uh, in presence of these two disease combination. All right, doctor. And lastly, if you could tell us about the results and conclusions which were drawn from this study. In this review, we found that the prevalence of diabetes and tuberculosis is substantial in India and it is also labeled as, in inverted commas, the capital of these two diseases uh, of the world. And hence, there are uh, enormous burden of this disease in our country. Uh, and uncontrolled diabetes mellitus increases the risk of failure of treatment of tuberculosis if it is coexisting. And hence, special care is required in these patients. Thirdly, the convergence of tuberculosis and diabetic syndemic recently during COVID pandemic has raised further problems because there are more number of diabetic cases reported during this pandemic and the treatment care which is required uh, or which is often given to diabetic and TB patients was severely hit during the pandemic and hence many of these patients uh, had mortality or uh, uncontrolled diabetes status or ineffective tuberculosis treatment. Uh, so uh, COVID has, ended, uh, has added a third dimension to this syndemic of tuberculosis and diabetes. And next, tuberculosis and diabetic syndemic needs more aggressive focus for better outcome of tuberculosis treatment. Uh, we suggest that national program that exists in India on tuberculosis and diabetes should include bidirectional screening. Uh, that means patients who are diagnosed with tuberculosis should have, should have compulsory screening for detection of diabetes uh, and vice versa, those who have diabetes should be screened for tuberculosis and more aggressive control of blood sugar is required in TB patients with diabetes to uh, reduce the complication and to make the treatment effective. Thank you, doctor. We appreciate your time and expertise in discussing this important topic. Thank you very much. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.